Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel 100 Ideas. The gardener is extremely fortunate if he got a perfect flat area without a slope. Unfortunately, this is not common. What to do if the cottage is located on a hillside? Do not despair. This is a way out. It is worth starting with the fact that some gardeners just dream of a summer house located on a slope. They can be used to bring to life such design solutions at multi-level areas, which the common man in the street never dreamed of. Why is this seemingly unprofitable land so appealing to clever landscape designers? The fact is that on a plot of a different level type, several types of landscape can be recreated, moreover, successfully combining them. For example, a waterfall with a pond, rockery or rock garden, steps and terraces, paths and fountains. Combining the incongruous in nature is the beauty of such solutions. Rules for landscape design on a side with a slope For an uneven area, the alpine version of landscape design, especially designed for mountainous terrain, is perfectly suited. The main feature of this area is the widespread use of boulders and large stones, both artificial and natural, as well as the planting of the maximum number of plants of all sizes and colors. With the help of such a simple tool, several tasks are solved at once. The slope is strengthened, snow is retrained, which contributes to the natural moisturing the soil in spring when active saps flow and a set of green mass must be provided with a large amount of water in the soil. The garden plot takes on a spectacular and sophisticated look. When creating terraces and separately allocated zones, it is imperative to take into account their purpose as well as the direction of the slope relative to the cardinal points. The general principle is as follows. The width of the terrace can be formed 0.8 to 6 meters, the height from 0.7 to 2 meters. For paths with low growing vegetation, it is better to make narrow with terraces with small drops, they are easier to strengthen. But to place a gazebo, a recreation area, a summer kitchen or a residential building, of course, a larger area is needed. As for the direction of the slope, it is important for assessing the degree or illumination of the zone. For example, on the eastern slope, it is better to plant those crops that need protection from bright sunlight. On the southern one, on the contrary, are the most light-loving and drought-resistant plants. The northern slope is suitable for decorating a shady composition of tall trees, under which you can place a bench or a children's playground. In addition, when arranging an uneven land plot, it is important to adhere to the following rules. Stones can be laid in regular bulk or using a binder solution. The first option is cheaper, but less reliable. Therefore, when using it, all voids must be densely covered with a mixture of earth and lawn grass seeds in order to further strengthen the structure. Wood is not very suitable for arranging uneven areas, since such a material does not withstand loads well and moreover requires constant maintenance and with difficult terrain it is much more difficult to provide it. The retraining material for strengthening the terraces is selected taking into account the height difference. The concrete wall can withstand the support up to a height of 3 meters, while when using bricks, this limit is reduced to 0.7 meters. Brick is also very popular. Clean commensary can be spares or deaf. This material allows you to erect walls of any configuration, winding and zigzag shapes. Terrace of a site in landscape design. Terracing a site is leveling it horizontally, simultaneously turning the slope into clear steps. Terraces are the easiest and most logical way to transform a permanent slope into several horizontal steps, much more convenient to use. To create terraces, you need an ordinary building level, rope and wooden stakes. With the help of this uncompleted tool, 
the horizon of the plot is verified. According to the steppness of the slope, it is divided into several steps. Next, you will have to take up a shovel or order heavy equipment, depending on the very steppness and the number of expected steps. To equip a site with the slope, it is mandatory to perform the following additional measures. Leveling the terrain by physically removing the top layer of soil from the highest point and adding soil to the lowest. Sometimes it is impossible to do with the usual transfer and fertile the land has to be poured and poor and clay removed or used for construction work. Zoning and terracing Strengthening of the slopes, including through the construction of retaining walls. The obligatory presence of a complex drainage system, competent organization of the storm drains designed to preserve the fertile soil layer and prevent its leaching. Planning of paths, steps and ramps. Strict adherence to the rules when placing objects, first of all, capital buildings and perennial plants. A more careful approach to the choice of crops grown. Retaining walls for a slope site. Very effective and, at the same time, necessary engineering structures at different levels are retaining walls. Retaining walls are also raised from masonry. Natural stone masonry is the right compromise between strength and aesthetics. Do not use limestone, it breaks down too easily. Natural stone in the exterior looks monumental. The most profitable solution without redeveloping the level of the site will be the use of steps in landscape design. Steps made of natural stone will easily fit into any exterior and will be able to connect all levels of the garden. The most interesting thing is that when terracing, the steps will be used everywhere, but taking into account the use of retaining poles, they will acquire an artificial straight shape. What tracks are better to lay out? Garden paths are essential for every garden, regardless of its layout. Beautiful winding paths made of natural stone, brick paving slabs, clinker paving stones will only add beauty to the garden and perfectly connect all the existing zones of the summer cottage with each other. Wooden floorings, slightly sanded or untreated at all, look especially original. The wooden board is protected from decay by protesting with special substances.